Hi, it's Richard from Funfit Adventure. We've just arrived at our campsite and we're going to take a look at this, which is the Big Agnes Copper Spur 2. It's the Mountain Glow Edition, which means it's got the LED lights integrated into the tent as well. We use this for backpacking. We've been using it for the last three, four trips, I would say, and uh, it's working out really well for us. This is the size of the Big Agnes packed up, and it's 1.6 kilograms packed up, including the footprint. The footprint comes in really handy and protects the bottom of the tent. It gives you a little layer underneath the, the tent as well. So let's set it up. The footprints. You can see I've got the larger side footprints, that's where the heads go, just going to be this side. So that's the footprint up and you can go from the footprint and put the pool straight in and put the fly over and use it as a shelter or you could do it that way and then put the inner tent up as well if the weather is really bad but as it's nice I'll just put the inner tent up straight away. So I'm going to pop the inner tent over the pegs I've already popped in. I'll grab the alloy pools, stick them together. See how the colour coordinated? So this end appears orange. Down here we've got a silver colour which goes into the silver grey pool on the inner tent. Clip it on. It's got these really nice clips. Some some tents that go around the alloy pearls are just really difficult. And you can see these are offset, and they just slide on like that. Very easy. And we've got one more pull for the middle. Just clips in on the top there. Oops. And then it's got these groovy little clips for the ends. See that just pops in there on the round end. And then we take a little clip at the bottom here and it clips on to the bottom of that bracket. Beautiful. So that's the inner tent up. Get the fly sheets. Just before I pop the fly sheet over, you'll see on the inside of this seam, this is where the LED lights are. 
So they run along this seam and I integrate it into the, into the inner tent. And then you see a little USB connector coming out on the top here and then a little pocket. And I'll show you there's a little, um, a little battery pack that goes into that pocket. And that's how we use the lights. Great little feature. You'll see the colour coding is the same on the fly sheet. Pick it in. And in. Orange ones at the back. In. Inside. And the other side. So that's it basically up. We can put the guys out, which I'll do in a little bit. But that's that's really it up and up and ready to go. Nice whip stop nylon fly sheet. We've had it out in some pretty heavy rain in Tasmania. Been brilliant, not let any water in so far. And then on the back, it's got a nice little vent that you can just hook open using that prop and that lets the air right into the inner tent which is good and then you can peg it out on this side on this side as well let's have a little look inside we do find often the uh, the rain cover over the top of the zip gets caught in the zip so you have to be really careful with that when you're plugging and pulling it up and down and sort of move it out of the way. That gets a little bit annoying at times but you know, that's what it is. You roll that back. It's quite nice to have the two porches. Lightweight backpacking tents but still enough space to be able to put your gear in the porches or use it as an entrance either side if you want to do that and keep your keep your gear inside that works that works really well it's probably one of those it's probably the lightest tent before going too lightweight where you start to compromise on comfort there's enough space in there to sit up uh, which is works you know well for us we, we really like that feature so let's have a quick look inside Here we go, decent space inside, all the fly sheet is ventilated, this is where we plug in the little battery pack which I'll show you in a sec and we'll plug that in tonight and see, see how they work. And we've got some pockets, gear pockets down here, you can get a, a gear net for the top if you want to dry clothes off, optional, optional extra, but um, yeah, that's it. And just in this little pouch, is the power pack. It's got a little power button on it and a USB connector. And inside, three AAA batteries, which we've never had to change yet. And then three settings, off, 50% power, full power. And that is the Big Agnes Mountain Blue Tent. We'll pop back tonight 
and have a little look at the Mountain Glue LEDs in action. We've now set up for sleeping in the Big Agnes Copper Spur Mountain Glue tent and we thought we'd show the lights in action. So this is the little power pack that we've slotted into this on the roof here, the little USB connection and then the lights run down and come off either side of the tent. That's it on full power which is enough for reading a book and you can slot it down to 50% power and then there's a off button all controlled by the, the power pack up here. Nice little feature and it gives a nice little background light. So we're camping at this awesome spot tonight. We've got the ocean just behind us and we've got a nice ocean view from the Big Agnes Copper Spur. Just wanted to conclude the video and just give you an idea on the features that we like and the things that we don't like so much. So the things that we like, really nice lightweight hike tent, packs down nice and small, really lightweight, perfect sort of light ratio to comfort. So you can sit up nicely in the tent, works, works really well. And then if you have a look around here, We like the, the ventilation on the back here, that works, that works well, lets a, lot of, lets a lot of air through the back. Haven't got the guys out tonight but it's, we've had it in some really high winds and it's been really stable and I mentioned yesterday that the, we've had it in days and days of rain and we haven't had a leak from it. So it's really good, doesn't get a lot of condensation, does get some of course like any tent really but you have got reasonable ventilation for that. So we like it. It works, works nicely and the footprint underneath is definitely worth getting. The things that we don't like so much, if we have a look at the, the door here, this flap, so this is the rain flap that goes over the, over the zip, handy feature, but when you're pulling the zip down, you've got to be so careful because this seems to always get caught in the zip as you're pulling it down. It's maybe a little bit too thin and if it was a little bit heavier duty it might not get caught so much in that zip. So that's, you know, it's one of those things you've just got to be careful with the zip as you bring it down. And also the gear loft. It doesn't come with a gear loft but you can buy your one as a separate accessory. You know, it's one of those things that would be nice if it came with a gear loft. A lot of the other competitors models come with a gear loft so to throw a gear loft in with the tent would be a good thing as well. Apart from that we don't really have any other any other downsides probably more pros and cons we really like it. So thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching the video and if you liked it then please subscribe to us on funfitadventure.com where you can subscribe to our newsletter you can also follow us on Facebook as well as Instagram and you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel.